Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be ranking the best shooting guards in NBA 2K24, my team here on this tier list. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 18,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. I said 18K. I'm sorry, 20K. We hit 18K, so I guess we're pushing towards 19, but really 20,000 uh, subscribers. Trying to hit that by the end of February, so we got over a month, but that's like 2,000 subscribers. It's going to be a pretty ridiculous grind we're gonna do the best we can would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe now without further ado let's hop right into it starting off with um andrea godala we got 25 guys here so if there's any guys that leave off the list feel free to let me know and i will let you know where i'd rank them this iggy card is towards the lower end among the best of the best simply because his release is pretty mediocre he's a very good defender he's super athletic and he puts the ball on the floor pretty well so even though he's only 6'6 i will say i think that's enough to give him b tier but not by a ton i kind of consider putting him c tier because he's not that great of a shooter and his release is not elite also does not have speed booster which is a pretty important badge so uh not the biggest fan of the couple of those things but i will say i think there is probably just enough to still give him b tier on this list asar thompson is like back of a this card is awesome besides not being a great shooter kind of like iggy but he's more awesome i feel like he's, he's faster um he's a little bit bigger he's a more versatile defender a more complete defender has speed booster as well similar shooting wise to iggy in terms of the release honestly the release is probably faster but the three-point rating and the badges aren't incredible definitely his weakest attribute but overall i do think he's actually a pretty darn good card and i think a tier is very fair caleb houston is a budget beast but he is still very much a budget card i mean his stats are all mid 80s besides the perimeter defense and the three ball not an elite slasher doesn't have speed booster not an incredible defender but a pretty solid perimeter defender six foot eight with an elite release and the steph's drag back and curry slide behind the back with a really good release so i like this caleb houston awesome budget card among the best of the best i can't put him higher than c tier but i do think he's really good chris mullen is also a budget beast by not a budget beast he's a free card beast really really good free card um i was surprised how good i like this chris mullen i don't think he's quite as good as the top few shooting guards but he's not that far behind really nice release and moves really well defensively solid as well i think he's a very very solid option at the shooting guard position if you do get him for free and i think a tier is a pretty fair spot clyde i like a lot but i'm still gonna go b tier he's very athletic pretty good defender solid shooter i wish his shooting batters were a little better but i will say i like his sigs a lot um he's got great speed he is very athletic which is nice and his movement's pretty good defensively he's pretty solid although not great on the interior does have good size good finisher he's a budget dr j honestly i think he deserves to be a tier i might have a little bit of a top heavy list here but i like his release more than a sars and even though he's not as good defensively i think he's the same level of card i'd put him a tier i don't love this DeRozan at all i'm legitimately putting him c tier his release is mediocre he's not an incredible defender and he is honestly missing important badges so let's look at this card defensively he's obviously not bad but no anchor no brick wall uh no limitless agent three both those are pretty important badges he's got good speed i just don't love his release i think he's a very like i mean he's as good as iggy so i don't think i could put him c but he's not great i could honestly argue putting both of those guys in c tier and just moving guys down on this list i'm not sure i'm not that high on damar though i think he's really a pretty mediocre free reward we've gotten a lot of good free cards recently but damar is not one of my favorites now desmond bane is like really back of a or top of or back of s or top of a i think top of a I like the car, but he is only 6'5", and he's got a short wingspan. Now, shot creation on him is really good. He's got very good movement, a great behind the back, really nice release as well. So very, really, very, very complete offensive card uh, at the shooting guard position, especially as a shooter and a shot creator, which is more my play style. So that's something I like. That's why I'm so high on this card. Uh, slashing wise, he's not incredible, but he's a very good defender. And admittedly, the player builds a little small, but it is bulky as well. I like the card. I think he's A tier. I, w I almost want to put him S, but I think I'm going to go A. Um, Dominique Wilkins, very solid. I mean, he's Iggy and Iggy and DeMar level, but I, I feel like I almost have to move all those guys down. I don't know. We'll see as this vid list progresses. He's the same level as those guys. Release-wise, not insane, um, but not awful. Defensively, he's pretty good. He's very athletic. He's six foot eight, uh, but he's not an incredible defender. He's not like an unbelievably great uh, in any area except for slashing. He is an awesome slasher, and I like the card, but I do think... 
probably B tier is the fairest spot for him. Now, I understand Jalen Brown's release isn't great, but he's got one of some of the most complete stats and badges in the entire game. I think he does crack the very back of S tier just despite just because of how complete he is. He's not a card you're going to see very much because of how hard he is to get and how well you have to lock in for him. But when you do see him, he's going to be good. He's a versatile defender. He's got really, really just complete all around badges as a slasher, a shooter, and a playmaker. Really, really good all around stats as well. He's a great card, and I do think he has to go S tier. Jerry Sloan is honestly another guy who I think is really, really damn close to s tier this card is so good i just want to go over real quick he's not s tier i don't think he's top five but he's right outside of it i'll put him a um jerry sloan is really good he's six five so he's not super tall but he's uh able to get every single badge that's a huge start so he can get precision dunker he can get posterizer he can get fast twitch he can get handles for days speed booster brick wall whatever you want to add to him basically additionally really good shooter with great shooting badges his release is not incredible but super good versatile defender as well with hall of fame anchor great defensive stats not a bad slasher again and then again the ability to get every single badge the release is not insane and the movement is solid very good behind the back and steph's drag back which is also very good i think he's very close to s tier really really good card i think a is fine julian strother is better than caleb houston in my opinion they're both really good budget cards i will put him b tier i think that's fair i'm realizing that as i go down this list though that I'm, i gotta move guys down we're putting him c i'm moving i'm moving everybody down a tier pretty much not everybody i'm moving a couple of these guys down i'm gonna move clyde nassar down and I think I'm going to leave it like this for right now because we have to adjust this list. It's just too high right now. Um, Dr. J is S tier. He is the third best shooting guard in the game, in my personal opinion. Awesome card. Great release. Moves really well. Elite slasher. Uh, like elite, elite, elite. Best in the game, basically. Slasher. Um, very big player build. Defends his butt off despite not having anchor or brick wall. Uh, the afro makes him look taller than 6'7". He's already big. And overall, he's just a dog. He's really, really good. He has released his unbelievable as well if he had limitless range and anchor he'd be like right there with kobe legitimately i think that's truly arguable but he does not that's okay still an incredible card Kawhi still has to go a tier because of how incredible his defense is elite level defender super versatile defender as well very very good card i am realizing by the way that i forgot ron artest i don't know how i forgot ron artest but ron artest and Kawhi are basically the same card ron has a movable enforcer and in my opinion a slightly better release either way they would both be a tier they're elite defenders and solid offensive cards cards not next level elite offensive cards but they do have elite releases so i would say they're very they're for sure a tier really really good cards i don't love 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 clay but i do think he's pretty damn good and when i look at the cards left on this list i i think he has to go a i, I do um I, I don't want the a tier to be so incredibly stacked but i think he's probably better overall than clyde and Nassar. when he's evoed he can slash at a very high level he's obviously an incredible shooter and his playmaking certainly isn't bad doesn't have awful sigs uh and defensively very very good card as well clay is he's good i don't I wouldn't probably put him in my top 10 at shooting guards, but he's like really, really close right outside the top 10. I think he's a very good card, and I do think he deserves one of the back spots in A tier. Very, very good card. Kobe's the best shooting guard in the game. He's the best card in the game. Elite animations, elite release, uh, unbelievable stats and badges. Can get every single badge. Incredibly complete. He is the best card in the game right now, and he's an S tier guy for sure. Uh, Latrell Spiegel, solid, not insane. Good release, good all around card for sure. The salary cap reward for round one. You can't get this card anymore. He doesn't have limitless range, doesn't have speed booster, doesn't have anchor brick wall a few pretty important bats i will admit but he's a good defender good slasher good shooter good athlete moves pretty well release isn't bad i honestly like the card i think he's probably better than the guys that i have in c tier and i think b tier is probably a good spot for him i do think mj is s tier despite the fact that mj is definitely just like Jalen brown bad release he's one of the best dribbling cards in the game he's some of the best sigs in the game he's one of the best slashes in the game he is one of the best defensive cards in the game he's basically one of the best at every single thing besides shooting and his release is smooth and easy to time it's just not super fast if you get good with mj's animations though and use him properly as the ball handler in the pick and pop as a driver uh and then only shoot when he's wide open you're gonna have incredible amounts of success with this card and i do believe he is actually an s tier shooting guard despite the release admittedly being kind of baited he's an awesome awesome card michael red blows his release stinks he's not an elite defender he doesn't move well that card sucks don't use him i'm putting him d tier and i don't care mike miller elite elite shooter that's about it though he's not a great defender and his shot creation is not elite you just can't use cards like that when you have this level of depth at a position where these cards are really this good like across the board the guys in detail are not that bad they're just like there's so many good shooting guards i think nick young gets a c tier because of how good of a shot creator he is he has a great release and jamal murray's behind the back moves quite well and he's a great slasher so offensively awesome defensively very mediocre but he doesn't go d tier despite that because of how good he is on the offensive end paul george i think actually 
actually still cracks the B tier because his release is not awful. He is super complete, six foot eight, good defender, versatile card. Missing some badges because he's a little outdated for sure. Card's a little older, but he's still very complete. And the next Paul George, I'm sure, will be one of the best shooting guards in the game. Again, Paul Pierce sucks. He's another guy with a terrible release. His stats and badges aren't awful, but his release is ugh, like really bad. And I don't think his stats and badges overcome how poor his release is. I would put him D tier. RJ Barrett goes B, very solid card. With the duo with um, Patrick Ewing, he becomes better. There's no doubt about it, but I do think he's still a B tier guy. I mean, very, very solid card for sure, but not quite A tier in my opinion. S tier for T Mac for sure. He's the second best shooting guard in the game, in my opinion, after Kobe. He's more complete badge wise than Dr. J. He can get every badge, which Dr. J can't, and he's an inch taller than Dr. J, although their player builds are pretty similar. Both have elite releases. I just think uh, Scotty's completeness badge wise is a little bit of a edge over Dr. J. They're both incredibly well rounded cards, and I think S tier is fair for both of them both elite options for sure and then i will put t-mac in the a tier uh, i don't actually think t-mac is quite s tier I, I as much as i like the well damn do i think t-mac is s tier he might be the sixth guy he is probably he's six eight he's got a very good release even though his upper isn't incredible he does dribble okay but not incredibly but he is a versatile defender he's six foot eight he does a lot of things really well he's a really good card i think very back of s tier is fair if i have mj and jalen brown in s tier t mac probably has to be there too so that is my shooting guard tier list right now let me know what y'all think of my list in the comment section down below if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all base.